Hi everyone. So I'm in Maystone and across the river over there are all the shops but on this side of the river there's something very special. Now we, we've been on this little boat ride on this river and we will do it one day. We keep saying we're going to and film it but whenever we're here it's overcast like this. So uh, it's a nice a nice river though. It's a nice journey and um, anyway bear with me a sec. Sorry about that. Gary was poking me. Obviously wanted to tell me something. So um, this side of the river, there is somewhere that I've taken you before. Let's see if I can get it in the shop. Look, over there, it is Hobbycraft. So we're just gonna make our way and have a little look, see what's in the shops. But um, today I haven't got my microphone, so I'm hoping that you're hearing me, especially as I do have to wear a mask. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm going to pause it because of the wind noise. So here we are, I've made it up the stairs. Just panting a little bit. So this little bit here, these few aisles, this is the yarn section of Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft's huge and got lots of other stuff in. So uh, I just want to see what they've got, if they've got anything new, because before the pandemic, they didn't really have a great deal. It was getting less and less every time. Cotton Blend Plain, 100 grams DK. This is their own brand. Got a few different colours. So they're on a three for two. So £6.40 for three. Not bad for cotton. How much of a blend, shall we see? What have we got? Uh, sorry about the mask might make me a little muffled of course um, cotton blend doesn't say does it am I missing it somewhere oh well forget that anyway so around here this is usually the uh, the women's institute section and these are always a three for two so they're two pound forty each so that would be like obviously 480 for three which isn't so bad they're usually 100 gram balls and they're usually really good quality as well lovely and soft mostly dk dk yarns but they've got some usually have some really nice colors i like that one that's a very unusual color quite like that um and they've got lots at the bottom this is different. This reminds me of the new stuff that they've got in Panland. <laughs> but this one is, where are we? £3.73 for two. And it's much thinner, of course. It's a four ply. It's called Soft and Silky. Soft and Silky yarns. We've got quite a lot of colours in it. Very jazzy. But that one's very similar to the new Poundland colour. Oh, my knees didn't like that at all, guys. Knees were not happy. So all along here you find various um, Women's Institute. These are the Arons, usually. This is how Aron quite often used to come in the UK, which is obviously uh, worsted weight, a four weight. Ah, these are are the usual 50 gram balls that they do one pound 30. Uh, this is their own knit craft so not three for twos but one pound 30 50 grams and we have like a big line of various patterns lots of colors in that we've got here this is a chunky uh, £4.40, but that is obviously three for two because it's Women's Institute. So they didn't have any of this last time I came in. Um, but they've got new Amigurumi yarns, which is the Rico. Rico Rumi. So they used to have one before, but it wasn't Rico. And lots of Amigurumi patterns. 
Little patterns, patterns, is that what you want to say? For ply, it feels very sturdy for amigurumi. And that's where they always keep this section. We've got the kobu, very limited colours. That side stained, oh, it's got a funny colour running through it. But yeah, quite limited in their colour range of kobu. I do have a few balls of it. Keep thinking of something I can do with it. A um, few examples of things that have been made up. But lots of patterns for amigurumi in here. It's this one. Oh, nearly, f <laughs> nearly fell on my bottom then. That would have been funny. Fashion cotton. 50 gram, light and long. And they've got lots of the Rico cotton. This stuff is what I made my tote bag with. The one that's on my channel at the moment. Uh, oh, wow. These are not pleased. And then we have sugar and cream. I still haven't finished the bag that I was making in that. This is a beautiful colour. Look at that. This is that 100% cotton again. My patents. That's £5.70 quite a lot of colours but as you can see lots of colours quite expensive and um, we've got more cotton blend plain um, knit hobbycraft's own brand now obviously three for two because it's theirs and what have we got dimensions 100 grams in a DK and 215 metres so they're kind of more affordable and got some nice colours too like this one we'll get up again now or well, maybe I'll stay for a bit <laughs> see what's on the bottom shelf first the bonus how you feel bonus this is different I've not seen this one before it's only natural it's very soft 105 metres like a DK cotton very nice Quite soft though for cotton, not too bad. And the Hayfield bonus section with all the bright colours and uh, this is the twist and shout. This is the one I made my scarf with. Everybody kind of likes this, so um, I've got to do a tutorial for it. But they've got the purple with the blue and the other one. I haven't had that one, the pink. And I've got some more colours. Probably a bit far away to talk. I have got some more colours of it in. Just go down the first aisle. Oh, sorry about the noise. Obviously there's some children downstairs, excited. And we've got Karen Simply Soft at the top here. So that sets us back £5.50 for... It's more than 100 grams, as I remember. 100 and... 41 grams, 5 ounces. And these I do love. Got quite a bit of this, I haven't made anything with it. Giant balls of wool, whatever that is. Um, Hayfield Aran. Obviously, so giant it burst its wrapper. We've got the Mandela cakes and the Karen cakes at the bottom. They tend to be rather expensive, like £10 or £8 a time. Um, pretty used to that though. But uh, this is how we normally, as I said, used to buy Aran in this country, in these giant balls, because they were traditionally cable knit sweaters. My mum used to do those for everyone but me. Don't know why, but she never did mine. That's quite a nice colour for the jewel spun. I have some jewel spun that I haven't used yet, so I'm not going to buy any. So what I'm going to do is I use what I usually do, show you what they've got, and then at the end, you can uh, I'll film another one when I get home and show you what made it into my basket. So I had a bit of sparkly yarn lately, but this is their Baby Brilliance. It's like the one that I showed this morning that Paul bought me, but this is four pounds ten for a hundred grams on a par with the softness for the one that's in B&M. So a lot of difference in the price, twice the price, but they do have some nice colors. 
that's a really nice colour. It's more turquoise than it looks. And that is a beautiful colour there. And even their, their kind of dusky pink is a very nice colour. But they have got some pretty colours. So then moving down, uh, we have the Hay Baby, which is a 50 gram DK. They're three pounds each and they're not a three for two, even though they are the hobby craft zone. And this is where we get the ones that I always say look like sea anemones. And I've got a few of these. What's this stuff? Oh, the leader of the pack. I have got some of this. Um, some of you may remember I was I had one of those Addy knitting machines and I was making a scarf with it. And um, well, I didn't get very far. Still haven't done it. I've got a couple of these. I think I might have put them in a giveaway actually. I might not have them anymore. But then again, I did have quite a lot of different ones, so I might still have some. So over this side, we've got the Bernat. They don't tend to have a great deal. So, you know, it's a bit awkward to buy if you want to make anything big. But good to see they've got the Peter Pan back. £4.70. This is baby cotton. wouldn't say it's the softest I've ever felt, even though it's Peter Pan. What have we got here? Sirdar Snuggly Sweetie. It's that stuff with a big pom-pom on it, which is more knittable, I think. It's interestingly... This one is softer in the blue and a very, very pale lilac. Doesn't look lilac, it looks grey. We've got some pretty colours in that one. And the Feels Like Butter, got a couple. Um, still got the same colour that I made the, um, I made the sort of V-stitch mile a minute. I'll put a link to the end of the video for that blanket. It doesn't look like a V-stitch mile a minute, but it is. It's quite, um, quite stunning when you make it picture doesn't do it justice I think on my tutorial I'm glad to see they've got the Sodar Snuggly Fluffy yarn back in not that I buy it very often but this is the Sodar they are quite expensive four pounds for a 50 gram ball which I always find just a little bit too expensive again lots of patterns all the way along both sides but um, not massively got anything new in i don't think we've got the marble yarns which are usually the james c brett section um this is what was in the bella coco pack i've got a feeling let's see if this is the one i've got or the one that she put in can't say it's not got a name oh that's a nice one i like this baby blossom chunky i did buy some to make river um, a dress but um, haven't made it yet. There's another one. Look at that, that's a nice colour. Was that the one she put in a pack? I can't remember. But she did. And there was a couple of balls. I have some, but I can't remember which colour I have, which colour was in the pack. This is different. A penguin felting kit. You see there's all these. Felting is the way to go, obviously. That's the buzzword at the moment. So this section, Low Price Craft Essentials. This is their Everyday DK. They are 50 gram balls, so they are cheap, but they are 50 grams. Last section of yarn, before we get to the clearance maybe, but we've got Cozy On Up. Not seen this one before. It's a big, big fat chunky yarn. Obviously a, more than a chunky. More Hayfield bonus. That's nice. I like that one. Extra value. £2.40. I think that's the same price as it was around the corner. So, and we have the James Seabrook marble usually along here. This is the bit where they have the chinchilla. I know it so well. Here quite often. And the, the big cable -y kind of yarn more patterns always that row of patterns got the james c brett flutter by which i have to say that um this is what i was looking for the other day when i was showing the one i got in b&m very very similar whether this has more yardage 
at 175 metres or 192 yards. I think it does, as I remember that one had 100. Well, I could be wrong. And then we've got that... Um, is it Shawl We Dance or was that what it used to be called? Winner Takes the Shawl. That's what it used to be called. So now it's Winner Takes the Shawl. And the Chinchilla. Oh man, that's a lovely colour. Well, this is the Alpine. But there's... Where's the Chinchilla gone? Maybe they don't have any. Hmm. We've got one Burnout Velvet. See what I mean? They don't have the quantity of Burnout. But, but that's beautiful, isn't it? Well, that, that colour, that is dreamy really like that oh well my knees don't know my knees don't like it at all then we've got the looms and we're back at the back again for the last section so that's where we was up to with the um twist and shout i do like this color though that's very nice look at that beautiful very pretty now we've got some more sardars but it's very rough, I remember this. Hayworth Tweed. It's not too bad. You would wear it, I guess. Sorry, my bag's falling off and hitting me. This is the West Yorkshire Spinners. I always find that a little bit on the rough side. It's proper wool, you know. None of this stuff. It's proper wool. Reared, sheared and spun in Britain. <laughs> I like that. Reared and sheared. My absolute favourite Hayfield spirit of all time. Gorgeous. But I do have quite a bit of it. So that's it. That's been has got lots of this stuff. Um not made anything with it yet. Driftwood, James C. Brett's very soft, really nice. But I need to get to grips and make some stuff. What's that one? Oh, what have we got here? Oh, it's a baby blossom in the wrong place. The colours intrigued me then. This is a pretty colour scheme for the spirit. So then we get onto the bags and accessories. So this is where they've got all the crochet knitting bags, sewing boxes, things like that. We've got lots of bits and pieces here. This is a clover section, but it's not, not for crochet to other bits and pieces and um, violin and velcro and we get round here and we've got the cross stitch and those bits and pieces so there's not that many accessories we get down here we've got silks and cottons and this is where we have the knitting and crochet accessories which is kind of not that much to be honest um, they never have hooks that I might want to buy. I did try a few of these sort of double-ended knitting needles. Weren't impressed. And see these, really hate them because so many now have, if I can zoom in on it, this overly um, sharp, long point. And as my stitches tend to sit very close to the top of a needle that's not the right size of hook um, heat needle for me because i'm used to the old-fashioned millwoods where they don't have this overly long point they just they had a small point and then your stitches would sit nicely but mine would sit about here which is obviously a lot thinner than the actual size so not good for me not good for me at all um, these are the cotton shopping bags which I use to line my projects like bags. Perfect. They used to be a pound. I think I can actually remember when they were 50p. That is a sign, isn't it? A sign that you're getting old when you think, oh my goodness, that used to be 50p. And now it's not like three times that much. So that's, that's kind of the section. We can have a little wander where the clearance part is. We may have some yarn, sometimes they do. Not often, nice stuff though. But I don't know, I fancy a sewing machine. So you never know, maybe one day I might invest in one. So we've got a little bit of yarn, you can see. What have we got? Just a bit. We've got some hanks. Ooh. 
it's unusual fleece it's very rough this is the west yorkshire spinners like i say it's often rough but that is very rough this is always here um so if it's seven pounds <laughs> i have to be kidding man wouldn't pay seven pound gotta be the wrong price surely how much would it have been new then but on the right price so as you can see clearance is a bit of a disappointment anyway so that's hobby craft so i'm gonna say goodbye hope you've enjoyed that sorry i don't have my microphone but um it's in a safe place and i've been in hospital and done all that and you know what that means i can't find it but i will it will turn up if not i'll have to buy a new one because otherwise outside will just be too much wind noise and we can't have that so i'm gonna end this now and the next time i see you will be whatever made it into the basket so thank you for watching stay safe take care and if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos and you'll see what i bought okay bye for now guys